Hello, my name is Mariana, and today this is a reading for Cancer. So Cancer, as usual, I'm doing a reading with my own tarot deck, so the cards that you see are from this deck. Um, so your reading today, Cancer, uh, seem to be bringing about something that is stopping you on your tracks, but because of its beauty, because it's something that is so enchanting, it's so beautiful that you cannot help but stop on your tracks and enjoy it and savor it and embrace it and feel the smell of this beautiful flower. So I feel like you are going on a very slow pace. You're not in any type of rush. You are moving in your own sweet pace is what I just heard. Um, and in this path, which seems to be filled with beautiful surprises or like a, like a gorgeous meadow that it's just so, it's like, why would you want to rush to get out of this place? Or why would you want to run to get wherever you're supposed to go if you are already in such a beautiful place? Um, but there is guidance here, Cancer, that no matter how beautiful this situation, this flower is to stop you on your tracks, there is this advice that is coming through not to get too comfortable where you are. Because I feel like there is an important detail that you need to pick up when you stop on your tracks in regards to what is the reason why you're stopping, why this beautiful thing is calling you is just so gorgeous that you could just have to go to it. Um, but picking up the thing that you need from yourself, which I feel like it's your own innocence. It's like this beauty is bringing back your innocence that is going to be incredibly useful when you go back to the path right when you um it's like when you um return to your tracks right and you envision your future it's like it's going to it's like this renovation of your hopes uh, of your curiosity of your um just your fuel right it's like you're recharging yourself because of this beautiful thing that is making you stop so you're coming here as this Knight of Pentacles. So this is where the slow pace of yours is coming from, Cancer. I feel like, again, you're in no rush to get to anywhere. It's like literally you are just taking your time. You are enjoying where you are. But because this card, the way that it flew off the deck and it landed on my lap so softly, it was the most gentle delicate lending and so i feel like there's something that is calling you that is um just getting your attention really because of its pureness because of its softness because of its beauty right just like stopping on your tracks because of a beautiful very small but gentle flower right? It's nothing major. It's something very delicate. And you are completely on board by the fact that you want to embrace it. It's like you, you are, you're jumping in it. It's like you're, you know, um, it's almost like, you, you know, if, if you are easily distracted, Cancer, I feel like this is different. Right? This is not like, you know, everything is catching your attention. This is different. The Seven of Cups is talking about you wanting to fully embrace, fully dive into this thing that has caught your eyes. Or most of all, it's like um, your bodily sensations. It's like the, the five senses of the body, right? Because you're coming through very earthy with this uh knight of pentacles so it's like it's something about the perfume of the flower right it's like the the subtle senses that are 
capturing your attention and capturing your heart in a way that you're you're just completely captivated right it's like you want to embrace this flower this thing that is catching your eyes and catching your attention and just it's bringing you this awe feeling right it's like wow how gorgeous i have to stop and appreciate this and embrace this and what it is or what could be cancer is a beautiful relationship this two of cups was talking about this blossoming of a flower and a blossoming of a relationship something that was not part of your path i want to say it's like and that's the interesting part you coming as the knight the knights to me um sometimes they come with this intrinsic mission right they are on a mission they have like a destination. They have something to um, conquer, to complete, to, like a quest, right? But it's almost like, have you forgotten about your quest, about your mission? Because you're being sidetracked, but in the most gorgeous and awe-striking way possible. Something that you were not anticipating that would cross your paths or, you know... Um, it's like um, you weren't expecting that on your way somewhere, the moment that you went to go after this mission of yours, it's like you're so enamored, you're so enchanted. You just want to fully embrace this. It's almost like taking over completely, but in a beautiful way, right? It's not in a detrimental way. It's not in a negative way whatsoever. It's actually recharging your, your storage of love, your storage of hope, your storage of beauty. It's like such a pleasant feeling, such like, a, like such a nice surprise. It's like a beautiful surprise that you, you didn't know that this flower was there that you know this ability to you know develop this beautiful relationship was part of this path and somehow it is and since you're going in a pace that you're allowing yourself time to enjoy this to appreciate this i feel like you are you're just diving in you're just taking all of this perfume in it's like you're you're completely in this relationship. You're completely enamored by the other person. You're completely, and you know, just because this is coming through as like beauty, it's like you're enamored by beauty. It's like the, the other person of the relationship is the flower, but it's like you're, it's like it's, you're seeing this person, if it is a person, if it is, a real romantic connection because I feel like it is but you are valuing and honoring and embracing the other person as delicately as if it was a flower as if it was like this very soft creature of nature that you it's like I'm seeing I'm sensing like you know soft touches on the cheeks and it's like just uh it's just the most gorgeous feeling it's just so i understand i completely understand why you want to stay here cancer because it's beautiful it's just it's it's relieving it's um it's recharging you it's just um restocking your love vibration your love frequency and you are embracing it completely because because it wasn't part of the mission. So because it gets you, you know, by surprise, it's just awe striking. It's just, you're, you're just like, and it's not like you're giddy. It's almost like you're perplexed. You're just like, wow, how gorgeous. And you're just wanting to stay in it. Um, but here is where this advice, this guidance is coming through. First of all, the Five of Swords. 
and the Four of Pentacles. The Five of Swords would, was a little bit abrasive or a little bit, ugh. you know that, um, you know when uh, there is like this chalk on a blackboard and there is that, that very excruciating sound that is like, <clears throat> so it goes from the softness, the beauty, the charming, the enchanting feeling that you are fully immersed in to something that is very, it's very uncomfortable. It's very, it's like, it's like a disturbance really. It feels like an interruption of some kind or it seems like, you know, this odd, because your senses are so sparked up or so in tune, you are, it's like, a, the touch, the smell, all of these other senses that are not typically ignited, yours are so in tune and so awakened that it's like um, when there is this odd sound, which is how I'm seeing this, uh, well, how I'm perceiving this Five of Swords, there's something that really removes your attention from how immersed you were in this relationship in this moment in your journey where you decided to stop and just stay there for a second right it's like this four of pentacles is talking about the comfort zone and what this five of swords is talking about is cancer do not get too comfortable because remember you do have a mission to complete you do have to keep on going on this path Yes, you can take your time. There is no uh, need to rush or to hurry or to run. You can enjoy this moment, this relationship, this blossom, this beautiful smell of the flower. Um, but remember, you it's like do not settle down. Do not... It's like it's not time yet for you to, it's like settle down or, you know, um, put down your roots, right? It's like, um, this is just, it's almost like this is just a temporary pause, a temporary, um, it's like this, um, it's like this uh, staycation, right? It's not, it's not, it's not something that is going to be your, uh, your permanent ground, your permanent settlement. It's like, um, it's like this is gate, this is giving you a taste of what it feels like to, to get back your innocence. The page of pentacles coming after this, I feel like whatever, whatever happened maybe before you started on this journey, maybe before you went on this mission, which I'm trying to see or feel into what is the mission, but I'm not receiving anything because I feel like, to be honest, Cancer, I feel like whatever this is, even though you're not, it's not like this is like a, you know, just another distraction along your way because you are easily sidetracked. It's not how I'm seeing this. This is a very gorgeous, incredible relationship that really is, it's like it's turning your attention completely to it and outside of this, right? Out of the path that you were walking it's not a distraction right i want to emphasize that it's not a distraction it's just um it's just a moment where you can feel again what it's like to be innocent to just stop because of the smell of a flower right just a simple very gentle thing right it's like um it's almost like the return of innocence is here because of this relationship. And it's what is like um, designing, it's like designing the foundations or reminding you of what a very steady, stable, gorgeous, comfortable 
foundation can be. But the Five of Swords is giving you this um, alert in a sense. Do not get too comfortable in this situation because of this flower, because of this person, because you're not going to be your permanent foundation. It's like they, they, they are meant to be part of your journey, but you are supposed to continue. But when you stop, it's like there is this remembrance of why, what was that thing, that initial thing that moved you, that, um, that called you on this journey, that sent you out on this mission, the reason why you started on this journey, right? Because maybe it's been a long time. Maybe you have been, you know, taking your time, taking it slowly, not rushing, but maybe you have forgotten about why you started this journey in the first place. And, you know, this could be this entire lifetime, right? This lifetime of yours, that the moment that you incarnated, the moment that you were born, you completely forgot why you came to this earth. But I feel like, well, and maybe this is the importance and the significance of this relationship and why you're so fully on board, why you're so embracing this, right? It's like why this is so enticing to you and so enchanting because it's supposed to trigger this remembrance in your heart with purity, right? With softness, with this delicate feeling, right? That once upon a time, I want to say, you decided to incarnate here to establish your own foundation, but you it's like you didn't remember how beautiful this feeling of innocence could be. It's almost like because you were on a mission, maybe, maybe you were, you know, I'm just thinking about the, um, it's interesting what I just heard was cor corpus, um, corpus. What is that? Okay. Anyways. Um, I was going to say the, uh, the armor, right? The shield, the helmet, um, I'm now intrigued what, what this word was, but anyways, um, it's like maybe you've seen things along your path that, you know, maybe stripped away the beauty and you had to put on this armor to defend yourself so you could continue, right? No matter how fast or how slow, because that's not that's not why you're doing this, right? It's not about the pace, it's about the journey itself, but maybe you've been, you've grown accustomed and maybe that's the reason why you forgot why you took on this journey in the first place because everything that you saw, you know, was just, you know, harsh things that they were compelling you to defend yourself against whatever was showing up but the moment that you are that you are um it's almost like this it's not a clickbait but that's what i heard right clickbait something that is just so gorgeous that just uplifts you and recharges you and reminds you of your own purity, your own innocence, your own reason to start this entire journey and why you came here, yes, to settle your foundation, to settle down, to put down your roots. But the reminder is it's incredible that now you've been recharged with this innocence, with this um, remembrance of why you started this journey but don't get too comfortable with this landmark is what I just heard with this situation that is it's it's feeling like a very pivotal moment because it's reminding you of why you started this right this is the significance of this this relationship this beautiful experience because it's supposed to inspire you to what's next. 
to keep on going, to keep on thinking about, you know, what's ahead, what's on this next step or a next leg of the journey, the two of wands. To me, this is all about the new horizon, the unknown horizon, the horizon that is yet to be explored and experienced. And I feel like this is um, the meadow, right? It's like you're walking down this meadow and there is this beautiful flower that just it's impossible to ignore it because it's just so beautiful, right? It's like it's like your your innocence, your your innocent spirit in a scent in a sense, uh, is being um caught by the scent of the flower. And it's like it's reminding you of your own purity, of your own delicate essence. And I feel like this is important this is why this is happening in a sense because the moment that you go back to your path to your track to the meadow there is this very incredible horizon that is going to be as enticing as exquisite as enchanting as just um just beautiful, right? It's like you're you're being recharged with beauty. And that is why you cannot get too comfortable because you need to keep on moving. It's like, it's not, again, it's not about rushing into it, but you have to keep on going. You cannot settle down permanently with this one. And, you know, what I was going to say is unfortunately, Right, it's uh, it's almost like this very um, bittersweet feeling, right? It's almost like you're already missing this person that you are with. It seems because you know that you're not supposed to settle down roots with them, but you know how incredibly significant they are going to be in your memories, right? It's like they're going to be one of the most beautiful memories that you hold. That's the reason why I feel like you're going to, and I'm getting emotional. <laughs> I feel like you are like um, embracing this present moment because you know that this is not going to last, Cancer. I'm so sorry to say that, but I feel like you, you have to keep on going. Um, but enjoy the smell and embrace it fully, right? It, enjoy every drop of this feeling every sensation every touch because i feel like this is going to leave an incredible mark on you and this is going to help you remember why you came here to settle down it's just that it's not maybe with this person right but this is going to be a very very beautiful memory so Cancer, I'm, I'm going to pull more cards for you as well as the astrological runes in the extended reading. Um, so if you want to join me there, I'll be very happy to see you. You can find the link down below. If not, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.